Don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively, if you would like to, you can purchase the whole course on Udemy. There should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course, which should always provide the best price in the video description. In the previous tutorial, we learned that in order to select a column as a primary key, we need to make sure that every value in the column row must be unique. We need to make sure that there aren't any null or blank values that's going to be utilized in that column. That column cannot have multi-valued or cannot be a multi-part field. And we need to make sure that values entered in that column will not change often or will rarely change. We also learned that the default behavior of Django is to add a primary key field to any model that we create if a primary key isn't specified. So let's take a look at how we can override that behavior by specifying our own primary keys. So this is really simple. All we need to do is generate our primary key field. Now this is just an example. I will delete this after, so we won't keep this within our model. So first thing we need to do is select the name of the primary key. Now you may have some reason that you don't want to call the primary key ID, or indeed you may have selected a different field as the primary key, right? But let's just uh, assume that we want to create a new field, which is going to be the primary key. So we're gonna set that as ID. You can call it whatever you like. That was my point I was making. And then we set that to models uh, dot, and then the default data type that's used is the big auto field. So we have these auto fields, which suggests that something automatically will happen. So this is an auto incrementing field. What that means is that it will automatically add, in this case, a number to every single field. It will keep track of the numbering system and then add the next number. So auto increment by one every time we add a new record into the database. So to override the default Django behavior, we simply just need to type in primary key equals, and then we set that to true. So whenever Django creates this table in the database, it will simply just read the fact that we've set our own primary key and use this as a primary key, and it will then not create its default ID field as a primary key. 